Welcome, it's Two Sex Charlie Tango, a 1059. It's Wednesday the 12th of July 2017 and uh, I'm out for the midweek at the Xnet. Location tonight is the Quantock Hills in Somerset and uh, it's also a bit of a how-to video. Going to uh, make a, a centre-fed dipole for, uh, for the 11 metre band and uh, mount it on a a fiberglass uh, fishing pole. It's going to use a couple of pieces of uh, scrap wire. Uh, cut two pieces already, one uh, green and yellow, one red, about uh, nine foot long. They only need to be about uh, eight and a half foot. Just going to use uh, two connector blocks and uh, I've got a spare piece of coax so I'm going to stick a PL259 on one end and I'll just put the other end in the connector blocks with um, with the two uh, two elements. Right then folks, we're set up in the in the back of the van. Got the two elements here, which I've uh, already uh, measured out, about, uh, about nine foot, so we can allow to um, chop a bit off. I've stripped uh, some insulation back on the, on both ends, just to show you that. Two connector blocks. So what I'm gonna do is uh, fold, uh, the cable over just to um, so there's a bigger uh, surface area in the in the connector block. Going to um, stick the red in the in one side, which will be the uh, vertical um, the top element, and uh, the green one in uh, the other side. Very uh, quick and uh, easy. Very simple to make a make a dipole. So that's our um, two elements. Got a piece of got got um, a roll of uh, coax. And uh, what I'm going to do is. Uh, Take a little bit of the uh, insulation off. Could do with a knife, uh, really, but uh, it doesn't matter. There's a network on uh, channel 28 uh, UKFM, so I will be uh, calling into that one and uh, testing the antenna out. Take uh, some insulation off uh, the other side. Just 
very carefully so you don't uh, cut through all the cable. And we want these both exactly the same uh, same length. So if we chop them off uh, just about there and uh, just show you that. What I'm going to do is uh, double it over so there's a double amount of the surface area. Making sure that uh, both uh, wires are exactly the same length. The braid will go in with the green one and uh, the centre dielectric will be the uh, the red cable. I will tape it up just to uh, make sure it doesn't um, pull apart. There's no wind at all this evening. Now I've got to keep um, the coax at a 90 degree angle. So this evening I've parked the van up just a little bit further away from the post I parked next to. I'm going to uh, strap uh, the pole to the posts and uh, have it come in at an angle towards uh, towards the van. So uh, just to uh, show you, that's the coax going in, two elements coming out. I'll do is I'll just tape it up. You can buy the pre-made uh, dipole centres where you um, plug a, a PL259 into it. But uh, we're just showing you quickly how uh, easy it is to uh, make a dipole and get you, get yourself uh, on the air. If there's any questions at all, please uh, don't hesitate to uh, ask in the, in the comments. Right then, so that's the two elements in, the coax connected to the centre. What I'm going to do now is, uh, is fit a PL259 on the other side, on the other end of the coax. It's actually quite a long piece of coax and uh, I don't really want to go cutting it at all. Not sure exactly what I bought it for, but it's RG58. Um, Might have been just the end of a end of a roll, but one uh, PL259. There is videos. Uh, on the tube that show you how to fit a PL259 so I will just uh, do this one uh, quickly strip off uh, the outer uh, black insulation being careful not to uh, damage uh, damage the braid It would be easier with a Stanley, and I'm sure some of you will uh, will tell me that. So that's the uh, braid. 
over the coax. Don't forget to put this one uh, on and uh, the correct way round. So we'll cut it about, uh, about there. Very carefully uh, take off uh, the insulation. We can now screw uh, the PL259 onto, uh, onto the coax. I will uh, just grab hold of it with a pair of pliers just to uh, make sure it's nice and tight. We don't want it coming undone. I'll just uh, trim up uh, the centre dielectric in the centre of uh, the plug. Push any bits of uh, any bits of cable that are stuck out, uh, push them in, get rid of them. So you've got a nice, uh, so it looks nice on the ends of the plug. Soldering iron's nice and warm, clean the tip. in the soldering iron and put some heat uh, on the ends of the plug. Let's give it a moment to uh, start the heat up. When there's a bit of uh, heat, um, introduce uh, the solder. Right, being very very careful don't uh, touch the end as it uh, will be hot trim off of uh, any excess uh, braid as we uh, we don't want uh, this on here but always better to strip uh, too much insulation off than, uh, than not enough some people stick a bit of heat shrink over their cables I don't, I, I don't, I just usually, a bit of insulation tape and it's uh, usually uh, good enough. Wrap a little bit of insulation tape around it there, just like so. That's uh, the PL259 fitted. And that's uh, one, uh, one dipole antenna. What I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll get this uh, set up on the pole and um, we'll tune it and uh, we'll show it working. At the moment we are on uh, channel one on the mid block. SWR is, uh, is, is over the two there. I'll just go up to uh, channel 40 
and uh, see what the SWR is there. Still over the two. Uh, we'll go up to uh, channel 40 on the UK block. Still a little bit uh, on the on the high side. And uh, channel 1 on the UK 40. So what I'm going to do there is uh, I'm going to uh, shorten the antenna maybe uh, 4 inches uh, on each end and then we'll check the SWR again. Right, just shorten the antenna a few inches and we'll check the SWR again at the bottom of the mid block, 26.965. Can't grumble at that. It's about 1.2. We we'll just go up to uh, the top of uh, this block and uh, check the SWR. Somewhere around the 1.7 there, so it is rising. We we'll just go up to uh, the top of the, the UK 40. About a 1.8 on the top of the UK 40. Channel 1 uh, UK FM. So we're below the 2. What I'm going to do is uh, shorten the antenna just a little shorten bit more. The antenna just, uh, just a little bit more and uh, we'll check the an uh, SWR again on uh, channel 1 uh, the, of the mid block. How about that? The needle doesn't move. We'll go up to uh, channel 40 on the mid block. How about that? Needle doesn't move. Channel 1 uh, UK FM. Needle doesn't move. We'll now go to uh, channel 40 UK FM. SWR is about 1.1 uh, so uh, just need shortening maybe um, just half an inch on, on each end and that would be absolutely perfect. Well there's uh, the dipole uh, I have just made. It's all working. Just some cable ties to uh, hold the pole in place. Just uh, it's the ends of the dipole. The centre. Yeah, there is a uh, call into the net and uh, see how well we do. Thanks to the five and five, uh, Stuart. Uh, you're five and seven to me. No, no problem at all. Uh, come back, come back with your location for the log, Stuart. Yeah, but I'm at the Westbury White Horse this evening, my friend. Yeah, that's a Roger on the Westbury White Horse, mate. Um, I'm gonna grab myself a pen and, uh, and paper, uh, pour myself a drink out, mate, and um, I'll be listening on the side. I know you're on here. I did hear Mick pop a doubt at seventy-seven, and I did hear. Um, um, can't remember his name now over in Bristol, but uh, back to you there, Stuart. Well, quick one for you to remember, mate. We've got a Charlie Tango X-ray 1294 uh, now up in Ambleside, up near uh, Lake Windermere. Right, um, I think you said a 1294. I'll give him a try. How about it, Charlie Tango X-ray 1294. Any uh, any contact? Uh, 26 Charlie Tango, a 1059. Quantock Hill, Somerset, trying. Uh, not hearing anything back this way, Stuart. Okay, mate, that's a real shame. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if he's still out there. I will uh, find out in a minute, mate. So, uh, if there's anybody else you want to go through towards, you want to uh, get yourself sorted out with a cover in that first. Um... Right, I did hear uh, Mick pop a Delta 77, so uh, good evening, Mick. 
Yeah, good evening, Tom. No trouble with you. Only a San Diego one, I'm afraid, but Radio 4 to 5. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Your Radio 5 for San Diego one this way. Just knocked up a quick dipole in the back of the van, Mick, and uh, chucked it up on the pole, tuned it up, and um, se seems to be working. Yeah, as I say, not a massive signal, but the radio's all there, and that's a bit that counts, isn't it? Uh, just, just running barefoot out, uh, out the usual rig. Um, no, no extra at all, Mick. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, well, if you wire it up, it'd be interesting to see what difference it makes. Yeah, Roger, Roger. We'll try a little bit later, Mick. Won't hold it with you, my old friend. Nice to, nice to get you in the radio. I'll say 7-3, mate, and, um, uh, back to you for the final. Okay, then, Tom. Catch you in a bit. Right, Nick, 774. Good evening. Now, I was asked to meet one of there, Tom. Yeah, good evening there, Tom. Yeah, good evening, Nick. I, I honestly couldn't remember your name just now when I was passing it back to um, passing it back to Stuart. But to your Radio Five, San Diego Three to the Quantox, no problem with you, mate. I take it you've had you've had a lot of work on lately. Is uh, not heard you on the radio at all. Been busy there, and not uh, got anyone about. So I have always switched the rig on there. This is the first time for about four weeks or five weeks since uh, I switched on there, uh, Tom. You know, well, you got anyone about, look. Like, so uh, yeah, I have bothered to switch on look. Like. Yeah, that's a Roger there, uh, Mick. I, I, uh, Mick. I don't, I don't switch on uh, very often myself, anyway. But uh, nice, nice to hear you in the radio, uh, Nick. I'll say seven three, buddy, and I'll let you um, take it back to Stuart. Right there, Tom on that guy for where you're firing, firing to me. There, see me that what Stuart's got you on there. Yeah, that's a Roger on there, uh, Nick, on the five and five. I won't hold it, mate, because there is a razon, so uh, thanks for the quick chat, buddy. Uh, back to you, Stuart. OK, cheers for that one. Does anybody else want to go through to anybody else? Just a minute to this. Hello to Tom, if I may. Key to you, John. Hello, Tom. Good evening. I'm on the road well tonight, North Bristol, and uh, you're five and five for me as well. Yeah, good, uh, good evening. Um, uh, 1582, John. Um, Got your Radio 5, your San Diego 1 uh, to the Quantox, uh, no problem. Uh, I think you said you're, um, you're you're out on the hill tonight. No one, oh my God. <laughs> I am Bob Standard, but Radio 5, that's important, isn't it, Tom? I tried to get a Radio 5 from a signal 1. Yeah, I'm out in the mouth. Out. Um, a little bit of high ground on the north side of the city in the car there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Um, absolutely roasting up on top of the Quantox here. Uh, it looks like it's a beautiful evening. But to uh, say, knocked up an antenna. We've got that up, and uh, that's why we're a little bit, a uh, little bit late uh, calling in this evening. Yeah, that would be a nice one for you, Amber. So I would like to hear in. I'm getting Nick a bit better now. Thirty-seven. I won't get any more on. It's bloody conditions tonight, Tom. But uh, I'm expecting good things. So I wish you good evening. I'll let you go back to Stuart and get yourself a few more. Yeah, thanks there, uh, John. Uh, back to you, Stuart. 26, Charlie Tango, a 1059, Quantock Hill, Somerset. Yeah, good evening, uh, Tom. A um, bit of a QRM on the frequency, but you are readable. Uh, your Radio 5, San Diego 1 to the Quantock Hills. Uh, running about 150 watts, uh, the Capo DX5000 this evening. And uh, while I was up here, Tom, I've knocked up a dipole in the back of the van. So, um, got, a, got a dipole this evening up on, up on the old uh, fishing pole. Okay, I uh, copy the uh, most of that. Uh, Dead 5239, you are acknowledged. Stand by, please. Stand by. Uh, yes, yeah, no problems at all there, Tom. Uh, and you're, uh, you're high ground, Quantock, are you? Yeah, that's a Roger. Um, high ground on, on top of the Quantock Hills. Okay, no problems at all, mate. 5 and 252. Uh, give, uh, give Roy and Corsi for a quick call there, uh, Tom. Uh, I'm sure he can hear you. Yeah, how about it? Uh, Roy in Corsica, any copy? 26 Charlie Tango, a 1059. Yeah, 
Yeah, QSL, Roy, QSL, you are 5 and 4, 54 to my station, absolutely no problem at all, you're really, really loud on the audio, Roy. Thank you very much, sir, <laughs> thanks for the flash, and uh, you're getting out very, very well with your portable station. Okay, uh, Tom, I'm not going to hold it because I'm going to throw it back to the chair, uh, 075, so thanks again, buddy, and I think he's got another client, Mr. Dez, standing by, go ahead, Tom. Yeah, zero zero four, uh, Martin, any copy? Charlie Tango of one zero five nine Quantock Hills. Yeah, Tom, you're five and five over here at uh, All Port Heights. Uh, this evening, very, very uh, strong signal from the Quantock Hills. Yeah, thank you for the five and five. You're a five and five peaking on the on the seven. No problem at all with you. Last few weeks, not been able to hear uh, Tom at all. And uh, with QRM, I've not been able to call in. But um, put a half wave up this evening and uh, hearing Tom, no problem. You're, you're, you're blowing me windows out. No problem at all, Martin. I shan't hold it with you because I have left uh, the other network on uh, on channel 28 UK FM. So uh, nice to make the contact with you boys this evening. I'll say seven three eight. Okay, okay, thank you very much, and uh, Tom, and we'll uh, hand the microphone back to you. Uh, Tom, your namesake, uh, there's a couple of stations calling that. 73, Tom, and uh, microphone back to you, Tom. Roger, Roger, there's your there at all. Okay, uh, Tom, 759, uh, this is Tom, 75, thank you for giving us a call, 73 from me, look we'll forward to catching you soon. Yeah, thanks for letting me in, Tom. Much appreciated. I'll say 7-3, and uh, I'll go QRT on this one. Personal, sorry. It's Adrian this way. Yeah, what's in that? Yeah, you've got Pete. Papa Echo, Tango Echo, right? OK, Mr Pete, thanks for the QSO. Thanks for the nice report. I'll uh, hand the mic back to the chair. Cheers, guys. Uh, Tom, we're uh, 10.59. Um, we're going to go through to Adrian Road. 2121 Tango Mac. Yeah, um, how about it, Adrian? Uh, any copy on this one? Charlie Tango, 1059, Quantox. 1059, 21, 21 returning. Evening, Tom, 5 and 5. No problem at all. You're sounding really good, mate. Yeah, exactly the same this way, five and five. Yeah, when there was a, when there was a, sh a gap there, I, I I dropped down to the mid block, um, called in, uh, got in first call, spoke to Tom, uh, Martin, and um, didn't didn't expect to get passed over to Corsica. Yeah, always a pleasure to speak to Mr. Roy, the gentleman of the airways, and uh, yeah, you, you're sounding great here, Tom. I I couldn't couldn't jump in and uh, pick you up on the uh, midweek night there, but uh, when I heard you mention this one, I dropped down and. Uh, Decided to call in, so thanks for the heads up, mate. Yeah, no problem at all. I thought I'd say where I was uh, going to QSY to, but uh, nice to make the contact with you again, Adrian. I'm on the Quantock Hills in Somerset, but uh, what is your uh, your location for the logbook? Well, the location is a country park, South Warwickshire, um, and it's called Burton, like the um, brewery, Burton Brewery, and then Dunlop, like the dog, but with a D. Yeah, roger, roger, Adrian. Uh, no problem at all. Nice to make the contact again. I'll say 7 3, and I'll I'll let you uh, take it back to the chairman. Thanks very much, Tom. 7-3, thanks for the 5 and 5. Back to you, Mr. Chair. OK, mate. Uh, Jim, we've got another one there. Um, got Steve there at, at Farley, mate, which is near Winchester, and he's at uh, uh, Corsair of Charlie Tango, 12-28. OK, Charlie Tango, 12-28. Any copy on this 2-1-2-1? Just gone the nine o'clock now and uh, got 12 contacts in the log. Spoke to uh, Roy and Corsica and uh, two of the other guys on the, on the midweek head net. But uh, Channel 28 uh, UK FM has been a great night. Uh, Adrian 21 21 followed me down and uh, worked uh, virtually all the stations uh, on the channel. Yeah, I'll try 
the, um, the, the, the dipole I've uh, made up is uh, it's working a treat, so uh, so all goods there. But uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the contacts. Uh, okay, I say seven three, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Anyway, the Don't forget to um, share the video and uh, smash that like button.